What's up everybody, I'm Cole. Welcome back to my channel, Cole Rogers Vlogs. So since I last saw you guys, I've been up to a ton of different stuff. So I'm gonna kind of quickly go through it. Aflac Insurance asked me to come to one of their regional meetings and present one of my motivational speeches. Here's a quick clip. A lot of people wonder, what exactly is grit? Grit is knowing that sometimes life's gonna suck and you still gotta get up every day and do it anyway. After I was done with my speech, I headed right over to Las Vegas with the Mastro Defense System crew. Fred Mastro is a man who needs no introduction, but if you don't know who he is, check out the link in the description for one of his videos. He was teaching his seminar with Doug Markaida, a knife fighting expert who's also featured on the History Channel show Forged in Fire. Both Doug and Fred have been super supportive of what I'm trying to do with fightability since day one, and I try to attend as many of their seminars as I can. After the seminar, a couple members of the crew competed in Las Vegas gunfights, where you're able to test your skills with firearms, knives, and empty hands against another opponent. When we were at the gunfights, I kind of assumed since I was in my manual chair, I just wouldn't be able to do it, which I was fine with. But thankfully, one of the guys there convinced me to try it out. He basically agreed to be my motor and push around the manual as I duked it out in a force on force battle. Here's a clip. To finish the trip, I went with the crew to the Pro Gun Club, where I was able to get my hands on some machinery that I definitely don't have access to here in California. Check it out. I had an awesome time in Vegas with the MDS crew, but it was time to get back to the regular grind. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys some clips of me teaching and training with my buddy Jules at my adoptive MMA class, as well as some clips of me learning from my coach Preston during our private training. I'm on my way to get my student Jules here. We're headed to my adoptive MMA class. I teach the class every Tuesday morning at the Pitt Martial Arts and Fitness in Arroyo Grande, California. He's currently the only one signed up for the class, but he works super hard and keeps me super duper motivated. We always start the class by getting warmed up, running around the room. Next, we do some bag work to work some conditioning and stand up fighting. Jules is going through his different punches that we've worked on. Hooks, straights, uppercuts, right. elbows. Hi, head level. There we go. See how that moves back way more up there? Oh, there we go. Turn that hip all the way over. Jules is trying to do his first adaptive grappling tournament this year, so we've been mainly focused on grappling. You throw me off that way? Yeah. So pin my head down? And then just throw me that way and get on top. Nice. We start off by reviewing the moves that we've been working on the previous week, as well as always trying to come up with new moves and submissions. It's the wrong side for that arm bar. You want this arm in, you know what I mean? Get that one in. There, yeah. There you go. Pull it up. Don't pull it down. Pull it up. There you go. Tap, tap. Nice. I'm moving more than you want me to right now. Uh. 
After about 30 minutes of technique, it's time to finish out class with some live rolling. Right now I'm heading over to my coach Preston's house. Uh, I'm gonna do some rolling and some training. He's helping me get uh, prepared for this year's tournament season. Got some grappling tournaments we're planning on hitting. So, yep, just trying to get ready. What's up everybody? I'm here with my coach, Preston, former pro fighter, super duper great coach. Uh, we were working on some different rolling and stuff today, right? Yeah. Our different moves. Um, in the past I've, I've met different coaches and a lot of people who wanted to work with me, but a lot of a lot of times, and I've seen this with other people with disabilities, they would kind of, um, I guess you could say, give me stuff for free or not really make me work for it. And that's when I met Preston when we rolled for the first time. I was like so just so happy because although we roll a lot tougher than I roll with most people, and sometimes yeah, you know, I get put in positions where I'm like, oh man, it it it, it gets tough. But let's cut through the bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> He doesn't let me get away with anything for free, you know what I mean? Like, if I get a choke or a lock or whatever, like, I know at least that I worked for it and I earned it. And I think one of the biggest problems is, you know, just giving people false confidence, right? Yeah. And so we try to kind of avoid that. We're just trying to legitimize uh, everything he does. Yeah. But he really does uh, tap me. It's all valuable lessons here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Not all the time. Yeah. Uh, but... You know, we get into positions and stuff, and he he starts digging in, and he's finding his angles and his his arms the way that uh, his arms are. He can cut into yeah. cut into my calves. He can cut into my neck. Uh, we're working uh, a new footlock. Uh, yeah, you guys will see. I've had a, a choke that I've kind of relied on a lot in the past, and um, people uh, at one point or another were just kind of giving it to me, so I was getting too much confidence in it. And then uh, with P here on the mat, we were, I was trying to go for it and it wasn't really working. And he started having me go for this leg lock, which we'll show you. And as soon as I started doing that, it was kind of like it opened up, I guess, a lot more options or, or availabilities. Well, when, when he goes for the choke and people posture up, there's your legs. It's like uh, Dean Lister saying, people, people usually go for uh, submissions from here up and you're wasting the whole other 50% of mm. the body. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You go for all the different leg and knee and foot and calf slicers and things mm -hmm. like that. I'm not high enough, I'll go that way. Go that way, yeah, right there now, down into it. There it is. Yeah, just adding that one little move has really, really, you know, changed the whole way I grapple. So it's good to really pressure test stuff here in the garage and actually come up with some stuff that works, you know. We've kind of been trying to come up with a, a system to use for the, the tournaments that I'm doing upcoming and uh, just roll and, and find stuff in the rolls, right? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. So we um, came up with uh, a guillotine roll through. Yeah. Like a somersault. Yeah, that was and a new one. I'll show you guys that one. Coming in here to the garage, definitely now it's like grind time, you know, get back to the basics and really just keep working on something that works because that's what we're trying to do, right? Just come up with something that works and basically, you know, cut the bullshit out, to be frank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. 
Thank you, P. Really yeah. appreciate it, brother. Yeah. Right, Catch buddy. you soon, man.